All right, so uh, I wanted to do a few videos as I learn how to use the Steam Deck and uh, just kind of go on my own journey because I know a lot of people that I've talked to that uh, when I did my unboxing video, especially, they were like, I didn't even know that was a thing. So the big thing I find with the Steam Deck, unlike let's say something like a Nintendo Switch, which we have, my wife has a Switch, uh, is that since this is a computer, really, you know, it's really just a little mini handheld PC, is that it's not as automatic, uh, not as automated, I think, as something like a Switch is or a console. I'm, I'm a console gamer and I will always be a console gamer, but I think this is kind of fun. Uh, and, you know, for those that like doing PC games, uh, there's, a, there's definitely a lot more options and customizations and things that you can do with this. So when I got this myself, one of the things was, I was like, I have no idea how to use this at all. So one of the, one of the biggest things I think was storage. So I got, and I bought this. This is just the plain Jane 64 gig version, plain Jane 64 gig. So we'll turn this on right here. And you can see when this boots up, All right? There it is there. Uh, and on the bottom, there is a slot right there for an SD card. And if I just tap that, I have right now, you guys may be able to see that, it's a 256 gig SD card in there. But when you get this, if you've never used it, because I don't know if anybody else got instructions, I definitely did not, uh, not that I, I remember getting, um, so I, I had no idea how to put a card in here and I thought you'd put a card in here and it would just work But it doesn't because this is Linux based and it needs your cards to be formatted a certain way So I have a hundred. This is a hundred and twenty eight gig card So we're gonna pop that one in there. Okay again, just like all SD cards if it if you if you uh, Can't put it in one way and put it in the other way, you know, so we're gonna pop that in and Right off the bat, uh, in this mode, um, you'll see, and this is in the game game mode, I guess it is, like the Steam game mode, I don't know what they call it. There, it comes up, there's a little tiny, you may be able to see that, it looks like a little, little tiny SD card, like right there in the top. Now, you can just tap on it, and it'll come in here. Basically, it comes into your menu. Now, you can come in this way, if you so choose, or if you back out of here, you can hit your Steam button, I believe. Yeah, and you can come in here and you'll see down here there's settings as well and kind of get you in the same spot. You just have to make sure you go into system. And then simply, a few things while you're here, this is where you would go to check for updates. You can tap on that and you'll see that it checks. Not a bad idea. I know when I got my Steam Deck, it had updates waiting. But if you keep going down here, you'll see format SD card because I want to show you this before you do that. Again, if we exit out and I go to steam, you'll see uh, under under I, maybe it's under settings right at the bottom here. I believe there is storage and you'll actually see it only shows internal drive. There is it doesn't show any external, right? And as you can see, I'm already half full and I really don't have anything on here except for the operating system. So we're gonna go all the way back up here, go to your system, come down here to format, tap, are you sure? Now, this part here, you'll see it tests. So it does a speed test, I believe, a compatibility test and probably checks to the actual SD card to make sure that it's working or micro SD. Um, and depending on how large the card is, so if it's a 64 gig or 128 gig or 256 gig or 512 gig or a terabyte, well, it'll take longer, right? So a bigger card will take longer. A slower card will take longer. So you wanna make sure that you get a decent card because you know you, you may buy a card and put it in here and it's just, just, it's just too slow. Um, and I would recommend a bare minimum probably of a 256 gig, which is what I bought. Um, and there's a reason I only bought a 256 gig. And what you'll see in a future video is uh, we're going to upgrade the internal storage of this. I actually have while that's going, you'll see there, I bought myself a little SSD card, which we're going to put in there. So testing is finished. 
formatting is happening. And we wait. This is all in real time, so that's excellent for you. And there it is, formatted. So now if we come over here and go all the way down to storage, you'll actually see internal drive and micro SD card. So you're good to go. Uh, you could have multiple cards, get a little card holder, and uh, you can carry lots of games. Again, I, I, if you're going to buy cards, 256 is kind of bare minimum. Uh, 512 probably the sweet spot right now. But that's it, guys. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be uh, doing a whole bunch of videos on things you can do with this as I learn myself. All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And I will see you guys next video. Later.